Welcome back guys to a new video. We just got done diving. My dad was spear fishing and I was fishing on the kayak. We woke up at five o'clock in the morning to come diving. We speared some nice fish. I'm tired, I'm thirsty. We're gonna go home, take a little rest, check out some of the clips. Woo! Right, guys welcome back to another video welcome underwater this is ryan luke's dad and i'm the one in this clip holding the spear gun let me explain to you a little bit of what's going on what you're looking at so i'm just kicking off from shore i got my regular free dive gear with me uh mask snorkel fins weight belt and my spear gun and attached to the end of my spear gun is a hundred foot float line and attached to the other end of that float line is the front of the kayak where Luke is sitting. And on the kayak, Luke has his fishing rod. It's just a uh, seven foot light action star rod. Uh, the reel is a 4,000 size Stratic, 20 pound braid, 20 pound leader and a 2.0 circle hook. And for bait, he has shrimp because everything loves shrimp out on the reef, especially hogfish, and that's what we're targeting today. And the camera gear and his dive gear on the boat. So I just told him to enjoy the sleigh ride out to the reef here while I kick him out. And we were a little concerned about the conditions we would have because two days prior to this trip, it was really rough. But um, as you can see, the farther we get out on the reef, the clearer it's going to get, the better the visibility. So we'll be out there in a minute. Enjoy. That one? Oh, you got the bottom? So what happened here was we're on our way out. We're on the second reef, shallow, only about 25 feet deep. And Luke dropped a bait down, and he got his hook stuck on the bottom. So I am diving down to see if I can locate where it is and retrieve his hook for him. Nice lobster there. There's a lot of nice lobster on this dive, but season's closed. We'll have to come back for them at the end of July. It's one of the great things about trips like this is whenever Luke gets caught on the bottom, uh, I can always just dive down there and get it for him, which happens a lot too because we are fishing on the reef. Uh, when I was on my way up there, Looking at that coral head, I saw a couple of really nice mutton snappers cruise by. Oh gosh, I'm seeing big fish everywhere, but this is a mess. I'm trying to get you out of your tangle. As much as Luke wants me to just shoot those muttons, uh, the best thing to do is to get his hook off the bottom first because it can get a little sketchy with the current pushing the kayak and his hook being caught in the bottom. So. I found where his hook is here. Go ahead and get that hook out of there for him. And then we can continue looking for some fish. All right, so we're at the next spot here and it's a nice ledge, still on the second reef. Throughout the video, we're just gonna be getting farther and farther offshore and the spots will be getting deeper. Um, so you can see there's a lot of life on this ledge, a lot of different kinds of fish, tropicals, a lot of doctor fish and angel fish, a lot of grunts. Um, the great thing about spots like this is I know Luke is going to catch a fish as soon as I pull us over it. Um, but I didn't see much to shoot here. You'll see I line up with a big strawberry grouper right about here but I give him the pass and I didn't shoot him you see him turn uh, they're a small species of grouper but when you see him over a pound or two you get tempted to shoot one I've honestly never shot one before but I get tempted sometimes but I know Luke's gonna have a ball here at this spot you got one Luke? Yeah. nice <laughs> nice can you get him off? Oh, why is it gone? Why is it gone? All right. Oh, it's a nice size It is a nice size It's a Key West pork chop. Here. 
Oh, I'll help you get them off and then I'll release them. No, I don't release them. You want to release them? No, let's keep them. Nah, we'll let them go. Oh. Nice one, get another one. So going back down here, same ledge, a little bit farther down the ledge. Uh, same thing, a lot of tropical fish, a lot of life on the ledge. It's good to see. Usually where you see a lot of smaller fish, there's something bigger that's eating those smaller fish. Uh, a lot of, there is some fish that if I was hungry enough, they are shooters, uh, some black margates you'll see there, um, but didn't see anything to shoot here. But once again, I know Luke's going to catch something here at this spot. You got another one? Good. See if you can uh, get them off yourself and get a bait on because there's a lot of fish over here. So now we're at another spot, a little farther down the reef here, and this spot I am familiar with, and I know for a fact that last time I was here, I left a nice big grouper in this hole, so I'm going to go down and check it out and see if I can spot them. You can see there's a lot of life here, a lot of these little French grunts, um, a lot of tropicals, and I checked in this ledge and nobody was home. That, and I could hear Luke yelling up there. So I know he's got one on, taking a look out from up top, but not much going on. You got a fish? Is it coming up? Fish, cool. You okay? What? All right, I saw this nice yellow jack from the surface on this one, and I knew I was going to take a shot on him, so I'm going down nice and slow. I threw a flasher to get him to turn. He ends up sticking around, and he gives me a perfect shot. You'll see here in one second, right here. I pulled the trigger and the safety was on or so i thought i checked it the safety was not on he ends up giving me a few more shots plenty of shots plenty of opportunities and i couldn't get my gun to fire so just wasn't his day today i ended up coming up checking the safety putting it back and forth and ended up getting it working but oh i'll get him next time All right, new spot here. You'll see in a second I throw my flasher and just some hard Swiss cheese bottom, um, hard bottom on the second reef. There's the flasher, top of the screen. You see some trigger fish going to check it out. They're pecking at it on the way down. Just seeing if anything will come out of the holes and get curious coming to check out that flasher. See those big trigger fish right there. They're really good to eat, but we're not after them today, so we'll let them swim. Not seeing anything coming to check out the flasher, but I know this is one of those spots where Luke is going to definitely catch a fish because there's just fish everywhere. Big ledge over there. Going to go check that one next. And not much here. I see a nice hogfish on the way up. Oh, nice one, buddy. I see a nice hogfish here. I'm going to go check him out. 
Looks like a lizard fish. All right, so on the way up on the outside there, laying in the sand, I saw a nice hogfish. They have to be 16 inches to keep them. This one's probably 18, 19 inches. And so I go down, pretty much made my mind up that I'm gonna take a shot on this fish if he gives me a shot. Spoiler alert, this does not go as planned either. Promise this is the last one. So you see here a nice big hogfish. He turns sideways and I missed. Shot high on an easy shot. In my defense, this is a new gun for me. I've shot quite a few fish with it, but still I have the tendency to shoot high with this gun for some reason. I'm not the only one. Uh, there's another YouTuber by the name of Kelly Young. I know she switched to Koa spear guns and she had the same problem, just shooting high on fish. I don't know what it is. I just got to get used to it. I don't think it's any fault of the spear gun. So fast forward, reloading the gun, going back down and I'll let you know now I get another shot and I miss this fish again. It just wasn't his day, but I do see a mackerel on the way up and he is not quite so lucky. All right, I'm gonna kick us back. All right, going down here. So these next couple spots are just gonna be little ledges and holes that I know usually hold some groupers, some big snappers. So I'm just going down to check a couple of ledges that I'm familiar with. Let Luke catch a couple other fish. You see a big lobster there. There's been so many lobster around, but we gotta wait. We gotta wait till the end of July for mini season and August for season, but not seeing much home here. A lot of life, but not what I'm looking for. Next spot here, another big ledge. Some of these ledges are just huge. You can get lost in them if you go in there, but they are uh, usually good for holding some groupers here. Just today, wasn't finding them like I would like to, but going down, gonna give them all a good look, see what we can find. A lot of little fish. See, that's a squirrel fish deep in there. Not seeing much. Look at that big ledge. Go check that one next. Check that one real good. All 
All right, going to go back down, check one more ledge in the area, that big one. Checking all the local hangouts for these groupers. Hoping to see a big grouper in here. Let's see. A lot of fish. Check deep back in these ledges. Nobody home. Like I said, throughout the video, we'll be getting a little deeper. This spot's still fairly shallow, 35, 40 feet deep or so. Just not seeing who I want to see looking under those ledges. We'll keep it moving. Just make sure you put your stuff away, Luke, and get it all nice and organized first, okay? So right away, as soon as Luke gets in the water with me, he spots this hogfish. So I go down to check it out. I could tell from the surface that he was small, but I thought maybe there was some bigger ones around, usually hanging off in the distance, not seeing any. So I go down, you see this guy right here? I give him a little tickle to tip my spear, let him know. No, not much else around. All right, next dive here. I spot another nicer hogfish, definitely legal, probably 18 inches, 19 inches, something like that. But I went down, you'll see here, I go down, get a good look at him, and I just had a feeling we'd see a bigger one since it's only one hogfish per person I like to be pretty selective see him right there and I head down he's right in the middle of the screen there kind of blending in he's right there off the tip of my spear on the bottom he's kind of quartering away from me but I get a good look at him I'm just gonna hold off for a better one let that guy get bigger All right, so this is gonna be our last dive of the day. And I spot a nice hogfish, uh, getting a little deeper here, 45 feet or so. And I spot a nice hogfish from the surface. And this is gonna be a good lesson for anybody, whether you're a spear fisherman or you're just getting started. But the lesson is to not rush your shots. You're usually gonna get a better shot, so Try not to take those far shots or if they don't give you a good angle. But I see a nice hogfish and he's staying just far enough away from me where I can't get a shot. He's heading out to deeper water, but he's moving slow. So I come up and I'm keeping my eye on him the whole time. It's getting a little tough because it's getting deeper. And from the surface, he just looks like a little speck. But keeping my eye on him and it's important not to take my eye off him because then I'll lose him but it, he's playing games with me because every time I start to come up he just stops so I'll get a good breath and I'm going to keep my eye on him head down here for my second dive on this fish key is to go down nice and slow but as soon as I get near the bottom he starts moving again. You see him right there at the tip of my spear, at the top of the screen. He's heading across that sand patch now. And he knows on there, if you know hogfish, if you've ever dived, you know they'll do that thing where they look over their shoulder at you and just keep their distance. So he's not giving me a shot here. I come up and you'll see he'll stop right by that big coral head. I'll stop right there, come up, try to keep my eye on him. And on this next dive here, he's going to end up letting me get just close enough. And I'll get to take a shot on this fish. He'll turn and give me an opportunity.
Got your nice hogfish. <laughs> Done with our morning dive. Dad's captain on the reward, heading down in the boat right now. Hopefully, we'll fill the boat up with giant mangrove snapper. See you there. Woo! You guys want Yeah. Mangrove season prep out here. Getting ready. Yep. Hold up, we need to not just pop it. You gotta redo it. Stand by. <laughs> Got not pop it out here. Yeah, you're really out here. Who's tying them faster? Me. Come on, Lucas, a 1v1. Get ready, come on. I already got go. three. You got three? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to catch up with this guy. I'm way faster than you, and I get tired better than you. He is small fingers. Oh, a lot. You don't want dad in this competition. <laughs> That's pretty fast. He's trying Going to slay him. Who's Hector. driving? Hector. Got Captain Luke over here. First Hector. thing Hector may be ready to go. Hector's eating a burger so he can get all ready. Shout out to Logan and his little igloo right now. He probably can't watch his video because he's probably got no contact with his little igloo of his. I'm <laughs> <laughs> catching Sammy while he's eating. Logan. <laughs> Oh, I feel Logan. Logan. <laughs> Hector, where are we going to catch? Crazy. We're going to catch these monsters, man. These things, ferocious mangroves, baby. It's that time of year. You should be out here. If you're in your couch, you're at work, no matter where you're at, you should be here, right here, right here, right now. All right, it's a time of year. Ready to go. Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go do it. It's the only time we got to talk since we left since we left the house after taking a nap after diving because it's been hectic, but we're on our way. Big snappers. Alright guys, we've been waiting all year for this snapper spawn. We got some big mangroves waiting out here for us. See you out there. Okay guys, ready to drop them down. Drop them down guys. Oop. But legal one, yellow tail, or some loop. Nice. Too bad. Yeah. Legal yellow tail. We'll take a, it. He had a big bait. <laughs> oh. Go, baby. Sharks will get them. Short pumps, get them up. Oh, it's a yellowtail. Swing him in the boat. Oh, yeah, I got one. Nice. Oh, 
Nice yellow yeah. too. Big mangroves. Big mangroves. Let's go. Let me see. What's this one? Sponsored by Hot Big mangroves. Andre's got a two throat. Madness, Hector. Madness. Ready to go, baby. Plug the fire away. Yeah. Uh, your mark is one on the throat. One on the throat. Good. 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 I smell money coming from this thing. Throw that box up. Over the floor. Swing him in the boat. We go loop. That's for a kid. Mark them. Huh? Oh, yeah. Keep reeling. Keep them coming up. Yep. <laughs> what? Oh.